Somebody lift up your voice and begin to pray. Say, Father, we bless you. Say, Father, I thank you for today. I thank you because it is light, light dimension. Father, I thank you because my mind is open to receive. My body is prepared, oh Lord. Somebody begin to pray. Is that your voice I'm hearing in the realms of the Spirit? Somebody begin to pray. Say, Father, I bless your name. Even as you engage, you are praying. Listen to me. The reason why the ritualists and the occultists make it, it is because of their hunger. The children of God are so satisfied. Okay, being mediocre, but I'm here to tell someone who is hungry enough to pull from the realms of the spirit tonight uh, to say, Lord Jesus, it is my time. Is somebody ready to pull from the realms of the spirit? Your hunger will actually cause you to go extra mile in the realms of the spirit. You see a man, they command that man in your cultic realm. They say you need to sacrifice your child. That man is saying, he's not even thinking. He said, is that going to promote me? Is that going to give me? more power? Is that going to cause business to work? Is that going to set to my relationship? Listen to me, the devil doesn't just give you anything, he gives to take hundred fools. But my God blesses. Jacob actually entered into the realm and dimensions and he applied the code of hunger and the angel couldn't go out talking a supernatural being. I'm talking angelic force. Um, you know, Jacob wrestled. You know what it means to wrestle? You know, our Korah, dear man, is somebody ready here to get hungry? I need people. I need seven people that is hungry. If it's just seven people I have, I am satisfied. I'm here to pick some people out. Uh, from their current mess by the Spirit of God. Somebody share this broadcast. I need people who are hungry enough to pull. People who are tired of rising and falling. I need people who are like, man of God, I am tired of my present position. I want to pull. I want to pull from the realms of the Spirit. In the realms of the Spirit, hunger attracts things. Somebody begin to pray. Shaba ako ravain and store vein and kus eradain kappa aiden kus. I'm talking light today. What is light? Light is an agent that stimulates sight. Good. So what is darkness? Darkness is a lower fraction of light. I want you to capture me by the Spirit of God, even as you engage prayerfully and all that. So darkness. Is a lower fraction of light. Most of you might have, might have heard the word light, light. I'm a child of light. I'm not a child of darkness. But I'm here to break certain things down that will catapult somebody listening to me to the next level. Capture me by the Spirit of God. I'm going to be reading from the book of Genesis 1.16. It said, and God made two great lights. The greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. But let me stop there. So light is a, is a particular agent that stimulates sight. Then the word dark means a lower fraction according to the dictionary meaning. A lower fraction of light and the scripture it simply means dictionary is actually agreeing to the scripture genesis because if it's not scripture i'm not doing it so my scripture just told me he said and god made two great lights it simply means darkness is great and light is great but one is higher and one is lower do you know this God created darkness and light? There are some of our poor violence talk. Let me know. <laughs> Move faster. I want you to follow me, capture me. And if you go to Genesis 1, verse 5, you go, we go back to verse 5. It said, And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning. Capture me by the Spirit of God. Some of you say, I'm not a child of darkness. That darkness is not my body. Do you know God created darkness and light? And light was in darkness. So he pulled out light from darkness. And he separated them. 
He said, you light rule the day and darkness rule the night. Some of you condemn darkness, but who told you darkness was evil? Those that understand spiritual mysteries operate in dark. You want to change anything, you operate in dark. Listen to me, the child stayed in, in, in darkness for nine months. Everything that is good needs to be hidden. Are you listening to me? I, I, I think this is too deep. I think it's too deep. Do you want me to keep this message then? I preach it some other time when I feel we're ready. Because I understand there might be some maturing Christians. This might be too strong, you know, for them. Capture me by the Spirit of God. This same God created light and created darkness. People say money is evil. Money is not evil. The one who gets a hold of the money determines if money is evil. If a child of God that is disciplined and trained gets a hold of money, money becomes good. But if an occultic man, the heathen gets a hold of money, then money becomes evil. You see why? As Christians, it is, it, it, it is a big error when you are poor. You see why I get angry at Christians that just choose to be poor. Go for knowledge, they don't want to go for knowledge. When you talk of money, they are angry. That is why it looks like the devil has more children that are succeeding. No. It is because they understand those spiritual mysteries. Are you listening to me? Is somebody capturing me? Darkness is not evil. We've been programmed that darkness is evil. I can't work it. No, I'm not of the dark. Who told you darkness is evil? Go read your Bible. Most of the remarkable things that God changed, it was in the middle of the night. See, according to the laws of life, are you listening to what I'm saying? According to the laws of life, there are certain things you can't do in the day. When things become exposed, ash. <laughs> I, are you guys truly ready for tonight? Are you guys truly ready for tonight? Darkness is just another dimension of light that operates at its own time. Just listen to me. Every one of us in the body of Christ, we have our dimensions. We have their rankings. Listen to me. God loves every one of us equally, but don't get it twisted. There are ranks in the realms of the spirit. What I can control, you can't control because of my ranking in the realms of the spirit. We are assigned to different places. He gets some two, he gets some three. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's how God has bestowed upon us certain grace. Some are the light, some are the darkness. Just what does darkness mean from today? Understand? It is another dimension of light. The fact you see a brother and a sister commanding certain things in the realm of the spirit, doing well, the moment you envy, just know you just close a certain door for yourself. Why? Because in the realms of the spirit, there are protocols. If you want to learn anything, you just observe nature. Ask the Lord, God, what am I going to speak to your people today? He just opened my eyes. I saw light. He said light. He showed me light. He said speak to them about light. I said God. Second time, he said light. Be satisfied, be contented with the graces you control and where you are. Darkness is not bad. Your level right now is not a mistake. Your level is for a reason. You will, see, listen to me. You might be, you might feel like you are disadvantaged because of where you are operating from. No. But you know, there are certain people, that guy operating, you know, there are certain people I will reach. Are you listening to me? There are certain people I will reach that you can never reach. 
And there are certain people that you will reach if I grew by the Spirit of God that I will never reach. Why? Because you are operating. See, my plan and my dream is to raise sons and daughters that will be the best version of themselves. Why? Because there are people that they will reach that I will never reach. Why? Because I'm operating in that certain dimension of light. Why you ought to operate in your dimension of light? Darkness is not evil. Never belittle where you are operating from. That is why the, that is why Lucifer laughs at so many people. Lucifer laughs at so many people. When they say uh, that, um, the, I'm anointed, is that he laughs at you because he's, he's anointed. He's called Lucifer. Is called the anointed cherub. That guy is anointed. But the anointing is corrupted now. So never get it twisted and feel like the devil is scared of your anointing or post. I keep telling people, there are ministers suffering. There are ministers in deep mess today as I speak to you. Their brothers and sisters are speaking tongues for 100 hours. Fast and pray. Are you listening to me? That I'm in deep mess. The devil is, Lucifer is not scared of your anointing or title. I'm here to bring you light. This is the light of God I'm bringing to you. Darkness is not evil. Darkness is a dimension of light. From today henceforth, when you, there are some of us who can't sleep in the dark. We can't walk alone when it's night time. Why? Because of the programming. We've been programmed. But from today, once you understand that darkness is just another dimension of light, God created darkness and light. Why should I be afraid of that? Listen to me. This is what the devil traps so many people with. The devil traps you with your ignorance. He said, my people, my people, God says his own people, perish for work, lack of knowledge. So when the devil knows God, I don't even want any preacher. I don't want prophet Omar. I don't want him or her to sit under the teaching of prophet Omar. Because I know when he sits or when she sits under the teaching of prophet, priest Omar, light will come. Some of you, you won't be scared of darkness anymore. Because you know. Do you know there are certain people that can't sleep alone in the dark? They need someone to sleep with them. Once they take the light, they're like, hey, they are scared. Once power goes off, they are scared. Am I helping somebody? If I'm helping you, I want you to comment you're helping. Enough of the lies. We've been in bondage for too long. We've been in bondage for too long. So many people programming. That is why the people you sit under, the, what you hear, what you see means a lot. Never give yourself to wrong information. Run away from people that keep saying it's hard, life is hard, this is hard. You will all, you will, it, very soon it becomes hard. I don't trust men. All men that has come. Men that has come will keep coming to you. Life can be beautiful if you understand certain things. That is why I have my master's class. I have my master's class for people who registers like, you know, seven days whereby I take you by the end. I walk you by the end into a new life. Your life, I give you keys that will transform your life whereby if anything happens, you don't need to start calling me in the evening. Prophet, something is happening to me. They are pressing me. You know what to do. But if you don't have these keys and this knowledge, he said, I have given you keys to life. What are the keys? Knowledge. You assess and you are sent into dimensions as a reason of knowledge. In the realms of the spirit, the keys that you open doors with knowledge fasting and prayer does not bring you money let me not lie to you you will fast and pray one one might even develop us or die fasting and prayer never gives you financial but i promise you let nobody lie to you there are keys money is one of the things you don't pray for 
to prophesy. You don't need to pray to prophesy. This is too crazy. I feel I'm going too deep. Let me leave this here. I'm here to just change someone's mindset because I am seeing in my vision right now that there are people that they have been held bound. What strongholds? They say we raise you against flesh and blood. I'm talking strongholds here. What are strongholds? Ideas, programmings. I'm here to break certain strongholds. This you don't know how far this orientation, this programming has kept people bound. There are certain people that are bound as a result of this orientation because they, because they believe darkness is evil. And the spiritual ones, the occultic guy who understand that darkness can be used for my advantage is tapping into the realms of darkness and doing mighty things. There is a reason why a child is hidden in the stomach in darkness for nine months. There is a reason why you need to injure the earth and plant the seed for it to grow in darkness. There is a reason. There is a reason why witches and wizards operate in the night time. There is a reason. It hurts and it's disheartening when religious people just talking. They are talkatives. We have too much talkers, motivational speakers, and no power to show, no reality. Enough of the talking. Can you show the glory of God? We've, see, listen to me. We've talked and we've taught people about God. Now, can you show the glory of God? There is a reason for darkness, it is another dimension of light. <laughs>